process of getting used to being the hunted. Coach K talking about more on Duke in just a minute. Meantime, Oklahoma, West Virginia, number six versus number seven. It was, I mean, Seth, it was hard to come by all night for Trey Young. Yeah, that's one possession. The defender goes underneath, Beetle Bolt goes underneath. Trey Young's going to knock down that three. He did have 29 points, but then West Virginia. Boy, did, did, I mean, did Conate show off the range? Lamont West himself, Daxter Miles, fortuitous. West Virginia takes a six-point lead. And, Jay, this guy, Javon Carter, the senior, so good offensively tonight. Yeah, he has 17 points, but it was the defense of West Virginia that won this ball game. They forced Oklahoma into 17 turnovers, and collectively, they did a great job on Trey Young. That may be the best pass on this NFL playoff day, huh? West Virginia wins. What a win for the Mountaineers. Um, he's everything, you know. Uh, he was he was the only one at a high level school that, that gave me an opportunity. I asked him one day, like, what made him give me a chance? And he was like, he just always believed in me. That's what I do. That's what I came here to do. Um, I got a guard. They got a guard. And you just gotta play. And that final score gonna, gonna tell it all. Congratulations, a big win for you guys. Thank you. Javon Carter with our John Shambi and Fran Frischilla. Seth, we know that the hallmark of this West Virginia team is to disrupt you defensively, right? Javon Carter may be the best on-ball guard defender in the country. Why he, is it, he is. Why is it he is. so hard to prevent West Virginia from doing that, from making them do what you don't want to do? Because they're relentless. They come at you for 40 minutes, and they take you out of what you want to do. They trap you in the backcourt. They trap ball screens. They deny ball reversal. They make you react to them. But to me, it all starts with Javon Carter. His ability to dominate the ball at the point of attack, his toughness, his physicality, and his mental, physical, and emotional toughness, he's without a doubt the leader of this team. You know, Seth said it. It was just not the physical toughness. It's the mental toughness that he brings to the table each and every possession. And I don't think fans recognize how tiring it is. First off, the ball is in Trey Young's hands 90% of the game for Oklahoma, okay? When you inbound the ball and you catch and you turn, and there's a guy right there that works you up the court, there's a guy that denies you the ball, face guards you, you have to exert so much effort to actually get the ball. By the time you get the ball, you're too damn tired to actually make a move to try to get to the rim. What, what did Trey Young learn tonight? What did he learn in this game? I think he's learned that it, in order for him to continue to raise the level of his play, the, the mental part of the game is something else that he needs to continue to work on. Because when you play a game on the road in Morgantown, this is going to happen. You're going to leave the game with scratch marks. You're going to leave the game getting fouled and the refs aren't going to call it. And you have to be able to play through that and recognize that, hey, this comes with the territory. I think the game plan was really great by Bobby Huggins. Think about I this. Agree. They trapped him in the backcourt. They trapped him on ball screens. They denied him the basketball. What? Why? because they wanted to make someone else a ball handler. It's not Trey Young's scoring that beats you all the time. It's his playmaking, mm -hmm. and they got the ball out of his hands, made other people playmakers, and you know what? They had more turnovers than assists and basically disrupted the rhythm of the game. Coming into the game, Bob Huggins said Trey Young's not a good passer. He's an excellent passer, and you're right. They, they made life difficult on him for 40 minutes. You can see in the last three games, yeah, the scoring is there, but the turnovers are there as well. And West Virginia can do that to a lot of guys. Well, today. Trey Young, lowest field goal percentage since the season opener, season high in turnovers with eight, and tied for a season low in assists. Hmm.